What's up, guys? Bandy here with some Draft Champions gameplay. I told you I'd bring you some. I'm getting back on the Madden train because I just recently bought a PlayStation Plus uh, subscription. Uh, I didn't have one for like maybe five months or something. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this team is Garbo. It is really bad because I made this team back when they were giving out like golds, silvers, and like a couple of leads in Draft Champions. Now they'll give you like a 90 overall team easily. They'll give you 99 overall players. As you can see, 99 free safety Brian Dawkins, 96 Odell Beckham, and 95 Russell Wilson. Um, so his team is stacked, and I'm expecting a good game. I know I can beat this guy, though. I know I can beat anybody if I just play my game. Okay, even if even with a crappy team, if you play really good football, uh, some things will, won't go your way, but for the most part, you'll you'll be right there. Okay, you just have to play almost perfect. And I know that's hard to do for some people because they make terrible reads and they expect routes to be open when they're not, and the guy covers them well. But I mean, realistically, you just gotta play really good football, and you'll you'll be there at the end of the game. So this guy's driving downfield. Uh, he's throwing it into traffic, so he's kind of dropping the ball. But here he takes a three nothing lead. I'm like, okay, let's get the run game going. Uh, when I get the run game going, you can't stop me. So here, I throw it to the outside to Kenny Stills, and he's got really good speed. So I outrun everybody on his defense, and I take it to the crib, house call, and I'm leading. I'm like, okay, all right, this isn't that bad. He's not that good. Sack right here on first down. Second down, he throws it over the middle. Almost gets all of the yards back. Almost picks up the first down. Thankfully, he runs a play action, doesn't have enough time to throw the ball. And 97 comes in there screaming, and he gets the fumble. And so now it's 4th and 10, he runs out of the pocket, throws it up to his best receiver, hoping he could come down with it, but he doesn't. So, now we have the ball in great uh, position, I'm like, okay, let's just run it on into the end zone, take the lead, and Dougie Martin's putting the team on his back. Do you see that? Here, I run a play action. Now, I don't have enough time to throw the ball. I fumble it up into the air, and he picks it up. I'm like, okay, this is where my team is failing me, because his team is a lot better. You know, sometimes that kind of stuff will happen, but you just got to get through it. Hopefully stop him here. He runs a screen. Usually I pick off screens because I'm so good at reading a screen. But I just wasn't there. My linebacker's not fast enough. I didn't see it in time. And these plays right here are the ones that annoy me the most. Where they send like three guys downfield and have one drag route down like right across the middle. They pick up like eight or nine yards every time. And it's so annoying because you have to cover the deep routes. But he just always takes the drag. And if you cover the drag route, he takes it right... Um, he takes it deep right there you saw that that should have been a pick that touchdown should not have happened I don't know how it got through my hands but here you see we skip to the fourth quarter I don't know if you guys noticed that it was a sleight of hand trick but we skip to the fourth quarter because nothing happens it's three and out three and out three and out three and out like five times each so here I'm running out of the pocket with John Elway he's not fast at all I'm like okay I should have thrown it but you know, whatever happens, happens. I throw a quick slant route to Jalen Strong. He's got a good speed too, so might as well use it. Here, over the middle of Jalen Strong again. Uh, we need to pick this guy apart because, oh, look at that. Dougie Martin putting team on his back like he always does. And as we all know, in Madden 17, they update the commentary every week. And I heard something new today. I heard that um, my quarterback, John Elway, was the comeback king. He had like 22 fourth quarter comebacks in his career. 12 of those in the in the playoffs something like that I'm like okay now I got some motivation I gotta put some shine on John Elway's name and uh, I gotta lead my team to the come or uh, to the end zone I'm like, okay we're driving downfield 55 seconds left hopefully I can score a touchdown but we don't get in there so I'm fourth down I'm forced to kick my field goal and we're going into overtime luckily I called tails I get the ball first I'm like alright let's go score a touchdown I run it with Dougie Martin he gets big hit but John Elway picks up the ball the comeback king Really wants this comeback to happen. Here he blitzes someone, so I wait right until uh, he barely gets to me. And so I throw the ball over the middle just to kind of like get him a little bit more tired. Because believe it or not, cornerbacks get tired on blitzes. For some reason, they just do. So I never send my cornerback on a blitz. Uh, here I just take a dinky little out route. I didn't know, I didn't think I got the first down there, but luckily I did. Here we run a fullback. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, here we run a fullback dive just to make sure that we get it. Here I run out of the pocket. Luckily, X springs back over the middle, and uh, we could throw it to him. Here, I'm going to throw it over the middle again. Oh, sorry, to the left side. Try to spin out, but uh, we don't get it. And um, here, I throw it over the middle, and I get to run into the end zone, and the game is over. So, 
His 91-90 overall team uh, couldn't handle my 80 overall team. So kind of proves scheme over team. Only for good players, though. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a good player, but, I mean, I'm a good player. 